So far in the Magento series, we've seen how to install Magento, connect it to your BrightPerl account, work with categories, products, reference data, and inventory. In this video, we're going to see how you manage orders. So here we have in a Magento store a customer order. Edward Thompson has ordered a Sony CyberShot camera. He's paid $5 for shipping and handling, and there's a tax of 16.42. If I go back to my BrightPerl account, I can search for the customer order reference from Magento. So in the top right, I click Sales, paste in our order number, and then Go. This will bring up the Magento order. I can also see him in the CRM system. So searching for customers, just look for Ed. And we've got a number of customers. We can see at the top here, Edward Thompson. Clicking into this, we can see his timeline, and that there's an open web order. So let's go and have a look at that order. We can see that the channel's been assigned as our Magento Go store. We've got the Sony CyberShop camera and the flat rate shipping coming in at $5. Because we have inventory of this particular item, it's automatically been allocated. We can also see that it's been set as taxable. And this is what's been synchronized using all the reference data we set up earlier. What we can also see is the carriage has been put onto the carriage nominal code. And this is set up in the company defaults for revenue on carriage. So what we want to do now is we want to print packing note and print labels. We hover over fulfill order and click fulfill and ship later. So ship later means we don't update the stock now. If we wanted to update the stock now, we'd fulfill and mark as shipped. Let's do the first, which will create what we call a goods out note. So here we can see goods out note number one for order 100,006. If I click that, it'll take me to the goods out note screen. This screen could be fully templated to add logos, references, addresses, and match any other paperwork you might want, maybe if you've got peely off labels for the bottom of the sheet. As you work through the warehouse, you print, pick, pack, and ship. So for this example, let's put a tracking reference in, choose a carrier, and hit pack. At the end of the day, once you actually ship the consignment, you mark it as shipped. Now that actually creates what we call a shipment in Magento 2. So let's go back across to the customer's order screen in Magento, and we now have a new tab called Shipments. And we can see here he's ordered one, and one's been shipped. Clicking the Shipments tab shows us all the shipment information from BrightPearl. Going back to my BrightPearl system, we have a look at the order. We can hit Invoice. This will automatically send a PDF invoice to the particular customer and enter it into your accounting system. And now we can see that the order has been updated with an invoice number and moved to the invoice status. But what's really powerful about BrightPearl is the fact that all of these transactions are going automatically into the double entry accounting system, which means we can pull up a profit and loss report immediately. So we go Magento Store, Profit and Loss. And this filters your general company profit and loss to sales and costs associated with just this channel. And we can see here that the cost of this sale comes in at 89.50, which is the cost of goods as on that purchase order on the last video. We can also see the best sellers per channel, or even sales detail, just by clicking links in the main menu. So that's a quick overview of order processing in BrightPearl from a Magento sales channel. 